I've bought so many things that I've not even used. They're inside my cupboard, inside my suitcase. And I regret getting those things here. Hello, hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. If you're new to my channel, then I am Tarosha Gimire and I make videos about life in Canada. And in today's video, I'm going to talk about the things that you should pack when you come to Canada. So if you like my video, please press the thumbs up button. And if you have any question, you can reach out to me in the comment section down below or you can reach out to me on my Instagram. My Instagram handle is just in the description below. So let's start the video. <music> Packing can be the most exciting and the most confusing part of travel. So I am going to guide you through your packing journey and I have divided this video into six different categories and I'll be talking about these categories in detail. The first category would be kitchen. So when it comes to kitchen, let's talk about the utensils that you have to get. I suggest you to get the two most important utensils. The first is pressure cooker, which can be used to make dal, rice and other different kinds of lentils. And second would be frying pan. Frying pan can be used to heat up anything or fry anything or make something as basic as egg. I bought pressure cooker from back home, but I did not buy frying pan. And I was so confused because I didn't know which frying pan to buy, where to buy. Luckily, my brother gifted me an entire set of utensils, which was very handy. Apart from this, you don't have to actually buy any other utensils like forks, spoons, knives, chopping board, even tea stainer and stuff like that. You get it here for two to five dollars in Dollarama and Dollar Tree and Dollarama and Dollar Tree are very easy to locate. So you can buy other small utensils here in Canada itself. Just make sure that when you buy pressure cooker or frying pan, it is compatible with the coil burner, the induction burner and the gas burner because your different houses have different kinds of burners. So it's better you buy something that's compatible with all. The second most important thing for kitchen category would be masalas because there are a lot of Asian stores. You get almost all the kinds of masalas as here in Canada but to make your first few weeks easier in Canada I suggest you to bring some garam masala some turmeric powder and some chaat masala I think that would be enough salt you can find anywhere but apart from that I think if you bring these three masalas then you're good to go for first few weeks and to all my momo lovers out there I suggest you to get momo masalas because you do get different kinds of masalas here but I have seen a very less momo masalas but maybe because I've not been to a lot of Nepali stores Nepali stores surely I will have momo masalas in winter where I live a Nepali store is really far so I at least have a good stock of momo masala now the third thing would be snacks snacks should be the last thing you should pack because again you get everything here you get maggie yy cook release everything here in canada so it should be the last thing that you pack but if you have space in your bag bring all your favorite snacks because for first few days you don't want to waste money as you won't even have a part-time job so the snacks that you bring from home can be used now the second category would be electronics Anyone who is planning to buy a new phone or a laptop, I suggest you guys to buy those electronic items here in Canada because those uh, electronics are comparatively cheaper in Canada and you also get different deals. But I do suggest you guys to get universal adapter if you're getting your electronics item from back home because the plugs are different in different countries so you can get at least two or three universal adapters. You can make use of uh, different sales that happens in Canada. I think one of the good time to buy electronic items would be the Boxing Day sale that happens in end of November, I believe. So this is all for the electronics. Now the third category is medicine. I was recently ill. The medicine that I used was the Cetamol that I got from Nepal. So I suggest you to bring all of these medicines because it's really helpful and get the prescription along with the medicine so that you don't have any problems during the immigration. The medicines that I suggest you to get is for fever, cold and cough, allergies, diarrhea, vomiting, all of this basic stuff. Also get a first aid box with different bandages and antiseptic creams. Also if you can then do get a thermometer because thermometer here is a little expensive comparatively for those who have glasses do get two or three pairs of glasses and if you use lens then do get lens for like at least six months so you can buy the lenses later after six months but do get two, two to three pairs of spectacles because even if one breaks you have other two pairs to use now the fourth category would be stationary for stationary i suggest you to bring nothing literally nothing you get everything here in dollarama and dollar tree for a dollar fifty so you do not have to bring anything from your home country. Pen, pencil, eraser, notebooks, you get everything here in Canada. But if you're coming for a mathematical course and you have 
to heavily rely on a scientific calculator then you can get a good scientific calculator from back home but regular calculators you get it here easily even the scientific calculators you get it here but that would be a little expensive apart from that you get every stationary item here in canada so you do not have to pack anything so the fifth category would be beddings oh my god the bed sheets in canada are so expensive i highly recommend you to get good bed sheets from your home country get at least three to four pairs of bed sheets and pillowcase because the bed sheet here is really expensive Apart from that, if you have space, then you can get a small blanket for yourself. But uh, you don't have to get a huge blanket because houses here in Canada have heating system. Temperature outside today is actually somewhere around 5-6 degrees. But I'm wearing half sleeves because it's centrally heated. So you do not really need a huge blanket. And you can always buy a comforter here in Canada. The comforters are not very expensive. So do not waste your space buying a blanket. You don't have to buy blanket or pillowcase from your home country. You can easily get that here. Now the sixth and the main category is clothing. I've bought so many things that I've not even used. They're inside my cupboard, inside my suitcase, and I regret getting those things here. So make sure when you pack clothes, you only pack clothes that you're really going to use here. And I'm going to tell you what kind of clothes you need to pack. First, get a good former attire. Three to four jeans. Um, and make sure one or two of them is black because anywhere you go to work in Canada, they prefer black get three to four black solid t-shirts so that again you can use them uh, for your work get three to four casual t-shirts get one pair of thermals and you'd not need more than that get at least two good mufflers because here during the winters the wind is very harsh so you can use the muffler to cover your face and it really helps get double layered cap don't get a thin single layered cap because that's not going to work here during winters because the wind is again so strong so get at least a double layered cap get at least two or three caps and we do get very good woolen socks back home so you can get like four or five pairs of woolen socks from back home for the winter especially get good waterproof gloves and i'm saying waterproof because here it's going to snow and you do not want your gloves to get wet because then that won't work so get good waterproof gloves for nightwear or to wear when you're home get summer clothes i have bought thick blanket like uh, pajama but i have not worn them even once so for nightwear and for your house you can get good cool cotton night suits and shorts and stuff like that because the house is heated it's warm inside you won't need winter nightwear Apart from that, get good pair of shoes because they come really handy and you have to walk a lot. So a good shoes is always helpful. You won't feel tired. Your feet won't feel tired. And even if you do part-time job, a lot of part-time job requires you to stand for a long duration. So it's very important that you get good pair of shoes. I do not suggest you guys to buy winter boots from your home country because it's better you come to Canada and you buy it here uh, because the winter shoes are made for the Canadian weather, the Canadian snow. So it's better if you buy shoes here. Talking about the Canadian weather, if you're planning to buy a good snow jacket, then buy it from Canada because here it comes for minus 40, minus 20 degree. And that's much better than buying anything from your home country because the jacket here is made for this weather and they come in good price range. So do not buy winter jackets from home, buy it when you come to Canada. Uh, apart from that, I suggest you to get three four different hoodies that comes with zipper i have got so many sweaters but i have not even worn the sweaters once because apart from the time that you're walking everywhere you'll go will be heated your college your workplace your house everywhere every every time there will be a heater on so you do not need to wear anything full sleeves so i have never used my sweaters but if you if you can then get something with zipper so that you can layer it up and you can take it off whenever you want uh, wherever it's warm inside and you can layer it on easily when you get sweaters you can't layer it on properly because you can't take it off anywhere but with zipper hoodies you can so i suggest you to get three or four zipper hoodies 
if you have any fur pants like this one with fur inside then do get fur pants as well because when you go out you can use this pant you can get two three fur pants here the fur pants are really expensive apart from this you also have to get a lot of undergarments because you don't want to come here and buy new undergarments and get a good backpack so that you can carry your laptops books and stuff like that around here and it's better if the backpack is waterproof because you don't want the snow to wet your bag but even if it's not waterproof then the bags usually have the back covers so make sure that you get a bag with a back cover and last but not the least would be our traditional wear you will wear your traditional clothes like for girls like saris and kurtas and stuff like that during the festival season and it just feels very good to wear traditional when you are here uh, especially during the festival it makes you feel home so do get one traditional clothes i think one or two would be enough apart from the things that i've mentioned here if you have any favorite clothes you have good dresses you can always bring them here the clothing video is more centered around the winter because now it's the winter season all the things that i've told you to pack and bring here or not to bring here is from my own personal experience so i just want you to pack better and utilize the space because we do not get a lot of space to bring everything that we want with us right that's all for today guys if you have any question once again you can reach out to me on my instagram and until next time tada